Welcome back everybody to what might be Gorebox's biggest update yet. I say this because GDev has introduced 350 new props and they're in this static section right here look at this look at all this stuff we can use to build it's gonna be fun okay we might try to build some bases to stop some people from getting in but i think the first order of business should be dropping some freedom on this poor family of 8 to 12 back here i gotta figure out how to use this thing though i have yet to try the update oh 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 okay 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 this is interesting this is interesting. Look at the flame back there. Whoa, look at it go. Doesn't make any noises though. Oh, wow, that's a big explosion. These guys are so screwed. Okay, we just gotta light it first. And then we gotta grab it. Yes. Look at this. We have harnessed the power of the, the US Army. I don't know how I'm gonna aim this correctly. Hopefully this is the right angle. Oh, we got me too. Okay. I absolutely saw that family get obliterated into chunks. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is this is what I expected. It's just a blood puddle. Wow. I don't even... Is there any remains anywhere of where these guys went? Is it... Are they just evaporated? That was a pretty uh, gruesome experiment to start off with, I guess. That's not the only missile either. There's small missiles, medium missiles, and large missiles. There's also a neuron bottle that's been added. I have no idea what that does. Spawn in our handy dandy test subject jesus you look like a fucking nerd <laughs> he's so sad now i'm sorry okay let's spawn in our neuron bottle here oh wow why is it rainbow or what that's not even rainbow what is this so i just toss this up in the air oh whoa where am i going Yep, this is what I expected. It looks like everything that he added to this game that's explosive just disintegrates them. Absolutely mutilates them into this little blood splotches. I'm gonna try to use time shift to see if I can slow it down to where we can actually see them like blowing up. I'm definitely about to try the missile again because that one was the best. Be prepared. To Whoa, that thing almost got away. All right, now he's gotta rotate it. Time shift. All right, it's in 1% now. Look at that. That is epic. Wow. Oh God, it's just... It's just, oh no, these guys know they're about to die too. No. Oh, is it going to explode? Why is it not exploding? It needs to explode. Where is it going? You come back here, mister. Whoa, it exploded. Okay, I just see body parts and a lot of rubble. Dude, this is so epic in time stop. Look at this. Oh my god. This is what I expect from our $700 billion military budget. Look at this thing. Absolutely just ripped them apart and now they're flying. All right, let's turn time stop off. Yep, there they go. I'm going to huddle them around this neuron bottle. I want to see how far we can make them all go flying because it sent me flying the last time I exploded it. Guys, don't worry. This is just a very colorful slurp juice, okay? It's from Fortnite. It's all, it's all safe. Okay, we got a gun now. Time shift. Whoa, look at my gun. <laughs> oh, that's so epic, dude. When are they about to go flying? Whoa! Oh, no, that was so cool. Oh, my. It's shaking my whole PC. My room is vibrating right now. Wow, that is that is arguably better than the, the explosion. I can't lie. That was actually sweet. But looking at other things, this map that he added is ginormous. It is literally the biggest thing ever. Like, look how tall this is, this drop. This drop is so tall. Like, throwing someone off of this is just instantly lethal. Bye. Oh, we can't even hear. Oh. Yeah, instantly lethal, like I was saying. He just broke apart. This looks like a very nice test plane. Like, this is like a flat surface where I can test anything. So, like I said, with the static props, he added a bunch of them. We are going to try to build a bunker that can withstand these missiles and these bombs right here. I don't know if there's any any sort of structure that's going to protect them from this, but we're going to try it. Look at this cinder block wall concrete pillar base wall yes okay we have a concrete wall right here these things are actually fairly easy to build with because they just don't move at all like look at that it's just like it's like building in real life i'm actually starting to think this is gonna work like i think i could genuinely protect uh gordals from dying with these this this architecture right here is beautiful look how even everything 
Look how even everything is. Like, just, it's so beautiful. Okay, we just need one more wall right here to close her off. And done. Look at that. Place a touch subject in there. Look at that. He's so cozy. It's just a, such a cozy place. It's like he's living in the Middle East right now. Just a bunch of sand walls and stuff. I gotta look for something now that's gonna be like a roof. Oh, this is my roof. It's abnormally large, but it's my roof. What is this house, dude? This is a mushroom hut. Look at this thing. Let's spawn in our freedom bomb here dude i'm so i'm just so done with this game <laughs> like what is that house over there like there's somebody in real life that probably lives in that thing too all right let's go well it definitely killed me there it is did the majestic mushroom hut protect the man inside no not at all okay hey you know what um the structure stayed strong but the inside of his head is a little concerning actually he doesn't even have a face anymore another experiment i kind of wanted to try was actually attaching gordals to these missiles and now we're gonna spawn our worthy test subject here we're gonna attach a rope from him to this rocket and light the rocket and we're gonna see what happens you're gonna be the first man in space billy let's fire this thing up i'm sure it's just gonna go some direction and we're not gonna be able to keep up yep okay i'm sorry i am so sorry i didn't I was gonna say I'm not like a rocket engineer or anything, but that's probably why the um, the world should not trust me with our space programs. On the bright side though, this does look like a fairly painless death. Oh no, he renamed my baby to the sus van. Dude, there's nothing sus about a, f a van with free candy on it, let's be honest. Uh, speaking of war crimes, why don't we fill this van up completely to the brim with people and then launch one of these missiles at it and see what happens. All right, let's go. Get in the van. We're not struggling today with putting people in the van, I promise. It's gonna be zero struggles today. Isn't that right, fellas? Nobody's struggling to get out. Oh, and I failed to mention we're doing this in slow motion too. Hear that, guys? Slow motion. It pisses me off when they try to escape because I'm just... They're not even real people and I am and they're just pissing me off, dude. Get in there. You f ginger fucker. Get in there. Nobody likes you. Okay, we're good. We're good now. We're good. Everybody's in there. Everybody's comfortable. Nobody's complaining, right? We hate to complain, don't we? I think to spice things up, a little neuron tasty bottle in there would be nice. Okay, I need to place this in here very delicately. Okay, gotta set the rocket up here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They're so doomed. They're so done. Time shift. There we go. Oh! Yo! The van got absolutely obliterated. So did they. Look at this puddle. Oh, are they all still trapped in the van? Oh! <laughs> this looks like if, like, a fast food restaurant ordered, like, an order of meat. You know, like, this is what the truck would show up with. All right, let's go ahead and get them out of there. Ah, another beautiful day on core box. These look like ribs, like some baby back ribs and then just some miscellaneous body parts as well. Hey, at least this dude's hand survived. This guy's hand survived too. Let's make them hold hands. Dude, this is the most Jeffrey Dahmer type activity I have ever done. And this is the last worth mentioning thing, I think at least. A cigarette. We can go ahead and grab ourselves a cigarette and start smoking our lungs away. As your lungs burn, you feel a little bit calmer. Remember, kids, always pick up your mom's cigarettes and start smoking them. It's very good for you. Can I have two? I can have two. Wait. I can have... I can have four? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Am I dying? Oh, I'm dying. Okay, that's... How do I stop my smoking addiction? How am I fitting all these cigarettes in my mouth? I wonder what else I could fit in my mouth. Dude, I just feel more badass now. Like this, I don't even care that I'm about to die because I can't breathe at all because I'm just smoking in CO2. Try one if you want to be someone, buddy. Just, just try a cigarette. They don't hurt you. Come on, you want to be cool, don't you? You want to be cool, don't you? Just try a cigarette. No. Do it. Put it in your mouth. I'm a virgin. Actually, I do think I want another one. There's no way I have, like, 11 cigarettes in my mouth right now. Whoa, they actually shorten in length, too. I can smoke them down. Okay, how do I actually get these cigarettes out of my mouth? I want to move on with the video, and I'm just, I'm just stuck here. I'm going to get lung cancer. This is a lung cancer speed run. I need to put myself out of this misery. <laughs> I'm tired of dying. Here we go. Uh, come on, yes, land on the bridge! 
I lost my balance from a mile and a half fall to the earth. This is what cigarettes does, kids. It makes you invincible. So when I saw they added these new thrusters, it's called a Neuron Thruster. You got your regular boring small yellow thruster, and then you got this one. Look at that! Look yeah. at that! I have decided that if this lawnmower is slow, the only reasonable thing to do is to add a Neuron Thruster. Oh wow, okay, that thing is very back heavy. Popping a wheelie with this son of a bitch! Will, the, will it even out the load if we turn it on? Okay, yes it does. No, 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 lawnmower, come back! Come back! Oh, where is it going? No, it's gonna be the first lawnmower in space. I'm on it. I'm on it somehow. I fell out of the seat. How did I fall? I didn't realize how uncontrollable that plasma thing is. I'm not giving up either, okay? I got a few more ideas that could help even it out, maybe. Perhaps like putting it on the side of the lawnmower. Okay, I think we have them lined up pretty evenly. Uh, no we don't, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, holy crap! Okay! It's kind of fast! Oh, it fell out! I want to send this thing to the moon, please. I think the lawnmower is on fire. It's about to blow up. Oh my- No! The lawnmower is gonna blow! We have totaled this lawnmower. It is- This thing doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Something else he added too is this blurred plasma field. I have no idea what that means. This is the regular one and this is the blurred one. That's the blurred one. It, it launched him kinda. Let's see what the regular plasma field does. Nothing. Dude, I can't lie, the racism among plasma fields is really upsetting. I just don't understand the- What is the- What is the difference? And last thing, ladies and gentlemen, is he added new food, like a kebab. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure I just stuck that whole thing down my throat. I'm actually a little bit eager to see how I'm gonna eat this fish. Whoa! Damn, I'm a throat goat. <laughs>